Perfect. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go ahead and do a fun DIY clothing project. Y'all may have already seen me wear this shirt in one of my vlogs, but Honey Factory went ahead and sent me this super bright neon hoodie, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and transform today. I'm only going to be using three items to do this DIY project. Uh, I know a lot of people out there don't know how to sew. I do know how to sew, but I ain't got a sewing machine, so we're about to do this no sew method transforming this. I have my E6000 glue, some elastic band, and some scissors. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can transform this hoodie into a cute two-piece outfit. So stay tuned. Fingers crossed that it works out well. Alright, now before we dive into this video, be sure you hit that subscribe button because your girl will be uploading videos weekly, okay? But anyway, this is what the hoodie is looking like. It is a size large and it's perfect for exactly what it's intended to like wear as a hoodie. So I would definitely recommend for this project getting at least a size um, bit one size larger than what you normally wear depending um, just because the skirt ended up being hella short where if I went in public my booty would have been out so but I'm taking um, a pen and marking exactly where I want to cut the hoodie and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down flat on the floor you want to make sure it's nice and even and then I'll go ahead and cut it straight across and also I just want to warn you guys I'm gonna be coming in and out of voiceover so don't be alarmed when my voice be changing or something like I don't want to scare anybody but <laughs> yeah <laughs> Can you get out of my face? Move, Willow, stop. So the hoodie part is done. This is what it looks like. Now we're on to the skirt, so. So technically you could just wear it like this. Um, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna have mine flipped around the right way. Just like this. So that the bottom, since it is wider, it can hug my thighs um, nicely and give me more of a curve. As for the sides, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and fold them down and put an elastic band in them as well. And I just wanna show y'all this clip. Like, if you see all this extra fabric, don't be alarmed because with the elastic band, what it's gonna do is gather all that fabric together. So you don't have to worry about cutting any extra fabric off, nothing like that, sis, like I got you. Now here I'm just measuring my elastic band and as you can see it was a little loose. Don't do that, make it a little tighter. <laughs> and also right here, don't do this, okay? I'm just, this This is the first time I ever did this, but um, on the booty part, don't cut the extra fabric off. Leave that so you have a little bit more room to kind of give you some coverage, but anyway. Whatever, it's a learning experience. Okay, so here I'm just gonna cut the side seams down just a little bit on each end of the skirt because that's gonna be how we fold the fabric over and start to glue. So um, don't cut too much, just enough for your um, elastic band to be able to slide through. Now right here, I'm going to go ahead and take my E6000 glue and put that on the very, very edge of the fabric. This is going to help eliminate any type of messiness when it comes to folding it over and creating that um, hemline basically. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and gently push just on the very edge as well. You don't want to go ahead and smear all the way over and flatten it down because next thing you know, the entire fabric is going to be stuck together. And you're not going to be able to slide that elastic band through so just take your time sis okay if you need to just use the back of the glue and press on the very edge of that seam but overall I just let this skirt dry roughly about I want to say an hour maybe an hour 15 minutes because I didn't want to slide that elastic band through while it was still wet because it's just gonna be a mess um, so to speed up the drying process a little bit I did take my blow dryer on warm 
and blow dried it for about, I want to say, three to five minutes just to kind of get that kick started. Then, you know, I put on some Netflix, watched a movie or whatever, and then got back to my project. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and insert the elastic. I didn't have a safety pin for this part, so I got a little creative and took a bobby pin and just tied it around and then slid that through and it worked just the same way, okay? So um, you just wanna take your time, pull the elastic through, shimmy it through. This process in real time, I wanna say honestly it took me like five minutes because I didn't, like I said, I didn't have much <laughs> room to kind of make that tunnel for the elastic to go through or else it would have been, I would have been exposed. Like you would have been seeing things you don't want to see, okay? <laughs> but once I got to the end, um, you can either sew this or tie it and your girl said no sew method so we ain't getting the sewing needle. We're just going to go ahead and double knot it and make sure when you do this you're pulling it very very tight just so that there's no chance of it coming undone as you can see right here i'm pulling it just to tighten that knot even more and honestly i haven't had any issues with the skirt coming undone either so after all that you're gonna go ahead and just readjust the fabric fix where it's um gathering together just so it's more even and then you're gonna tuck the sides where we cut the slits and make sure the fabric's nice and tucked in and as you can see right there there's a little bit of a gap this is the point where you're gonna go ahead and just touch up any type of areas where the seam may have come apart and just apply some more e6000 glue and then you know let it dry let it do let it do its thing don't rush the drying process that's my best advice i can give to you and you know that's it for this look y'all and this is how your girl went ahead and styled it i went ahead and paired some thigh high boots my little adidas bag with my vlog camera and this culture mesh little like sports bra cover up thing and you know that's it and i do want to mention because i didn't mention it in the outro the e6000 glue is permanent and machine washable so all right guys that is it for this week's video i really enjoyed doing this project i've been thinking about it for a few months and i finally got to it so Thanks again, Honey Factory, for sending me some merch. I really appreciate you. If you guys haven't heard about Honey Factory, go ahead and check them out. I will leave their link in the description box below, but basically, it's woman empowerment because without bees, what would this world be? So without women, what would this world be, honey? Okay, so um, I'll leave all their information down in the description box below. Y'all can cop some merch too. Anyways, that is it for this week's video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.